If you're like me and a big fan of stasis, you were really happy knowing that this current episode, Revenant, is very stasis focused uh, from the artifact and also all three classes getting a new stasis exotic. Titan is the Blast Wave Striders and I wanted to make a fun little setup around them, kind of showing them off and actually showing how they are very end game viable. Now, before I get into the whole video, know you can follow me over on YouTube and Twitter at Birdman778. Give a thumbs up on this video, subscribe, become a member and yeah, let's jump right into the build. So as always, we like to talk about the exotic for this setup and that's going to be those blast wave striders they read blast wave striders gain resistance uh, to your explosives defeat targets to charge this armor once charged slide or deal explosive self damage to rocket jump backward and blast deadly shrapnel projectiles that spawn stasis crystals on impact and charge rocket jumps grant frost armor so this is absolutely freaking insane uh it's very unique and different for you know just like any exotic in general uh the fact that it's like one gives you kind of that phd flopper from like the old black ops series uh zombies kind of uh ability where you know those explosives aren't going to do as much damage to you you have the ability to use kind of like mobility with it and the fact that it works with your you know grenade launchers that have that rocket missile or even your actual rockets itself to not do as much self damage is really freaking unique and insane uh, the fact that as well that it uh, spawns all those stasis crystals is great for both stasis and prismatic for the fact that it gives you access to those crystals that are going to be very valuable with the artifact. Now, typically we would immediately jump into the subclass, but I'm actually going to talk about the weapon that is very important for this setup, and that's going to be the Athenim, however the frick you say it. But it is the, you know, current stasis exotic for this season. It's a grenade launcher. It reads Harvester Spike. This weapon fires a Harvester Spike projectile. Dealing final blows with this weapon creates a single vestige at the target's location, uh, impaling more powerful combatants with the projectile creates a steady stream of vestiges uh, from the target. Now, big reason why we like that is those vestiges themselves. Uh, they will actually passively increase your blast wave meter and actually fill it up for you. So you don't have to just get kills with it. You could just sit there and farm like a boss, you know, get all those vestiges created towards you and fill up that bar purely from that. So this has insane synergy with this exotic. It's absolutely awesome. The other part of it is the Vestial Alchemy. This weapon gains energy when you pick up a vestige and allows you to create ammo on the projectile impact point uh, for you and your allies. Special ammo mode unlocks at 50% energy and heavy at 100%. Uh, and the way you do that is obviously just like holding down the you know reload trigger uh, and just kind of like cycling through it depending on exactly what you're wanting to do. So obviously this is really great for the end game content uh, when you're wanting to focus on like maybe more, more rocket damage and stuff like that. You just got to fill it up and then you get some free ammo for yourself. Now, when it comes to the subclass and everything we're gonna be doing here, first up for our super, we're gonna be running that Twilight Arsenal. A big reason for this is because of the artifact. Um, we're gonna talk about that here in a little bit, uh, but this is also one of the strongest supers for Titan. It actually got a bit of a buff to the actual relics, those uh, axes that drop after you throw uh the twilight arsenal uh, they have a bit of a buff on them now so it's really great also adds weakening to targets in general this is just a great one for yourself and also for your team abilities we're going to be running rally barricade i'm mainly just doing this because of the fact that i sometimes want that you know get out of jail free card um, you can obviously run Thruster if that's something you're interested in, but uh, this is obviously always going to be a better option if you're wanting some defense in your build. For our abilities, we're going to be running Frenzy Blade, mainly because of the Aspect Consecration we're going to be running. Uh, essentially gives us three uses of it. Um, biggest reason why we're using that, so uh, no, not a whole lot else with it. And for our grenade, we're going to be running Glacial Grenade. Couple different reasons. One, it gives us a Darkness debuff. It also gives us a Stasis debuff, obviously, because it is a, you know, the Stasis Grenade. And it's just great for, in general, just kind of like blocking out targets and getting yourself kind of, you know, uh, a little bit of a reprieve from different enemies coming at you. So for our aspects, we're going to be running Diamond Lance. Big reason for this is obviously the fact that it gives us that Stasis debuff, uh, Darkness debuff on targets for some of our fragments. Uh, it actually got a bit of a buff. It can actually now shatter Stasis crystals so it has really great synergy with that glacial grenade and also with the, uh you know the stasis crystals that our blast waves will create uh if you slam it down on the ground you'll give yourself frost armor two stacks of that so in general it has a lot of uses now for us and obviously like i said before consecration we're going to be running the classic the you know probably best <laughs> titan ability in the entire game uh being able to do that wave of scorch and then slam down to ignite targets is very big 
Uh, it actually can now um, shatter Stasis Crystals on its own. So that is a huge part of this setup, being able to just, you know, actually slide up to a target and do that, which is actually pretty insane. If you have a full meter uh, of your blast waves and then do the first Consecration slide, it will actually send out those crystals and immediately detonate them on a target. Uh, so it's actually have a lot of synergy there. Uh, it's really awesome. Now, if you're somebody who's like, Ugh, I need a little bit more defense rather than so much offense, I would say probably swap over to Unbreakable instead and then probably swap your melee over to Thunderclap. Uh, but in general, I really like Consecration for just the all around, you know, just boom, boom damage. Fragments we're gonna be running, we're gonna be running fast into protection so that we get that extra damage reduction around us when we have targets uh, around us, obviously really great. We're gonna be running fast into balance for rapidly defeating light damage, uh, gives us melee energy and doing it with darkness damage gives us grenade energy, have a bit of both of those in the setup. So we have a lot of great synergy there. Fasted to Courage, so that whenever we have an Arc, Solar, or Void ability on us, um, we are going to do more damage to Darkness debuff targets. Uh, so, you know, obviously getting like a Stasis debuff on a target uh, and then doing that Consecration Slam will be absolutely insane. Fasted of Ruin increases the size and damage of the burst of your Shatter and Stasis Crystals or Frozen Targets and increase the area of effect of Solar Ignitions. Obviously, have a whole lot of that there in this entire setup. Facet of Purpose, so that whenever we pick up an Orb of Power, since we have that Twilight Arsenal on, we're going to get ourselves an Overshield. Overshield actually got a bit of a buff this last episode, so it's a lot more potent, making sure that we're able to, you know, stand the uh, to stand the big damage that's going to always be around us. And then finally, Facet of Command, freezing or suppressing a target, reloads your equipped weapon, increases weapon stability, aim assist, and airborne effectiveness, and defeating a frozen or suppressed target grants a stasis shard or void breach. Obviously, we're gonna get that shard, which is gonna give us melee energy while also giving us that frost armor. Now, when it comes to our weapons, we already talked about the exotic, but obviously, uh, since this is a rocket fo focus exotic, we're gonna be running some like cold comfort. It's obviously really great. I have envious assassin and bait and switch, really solid option there. Uh, and then I was just running a BXR to just constantly take out unstoppables in the expert loss sector i was doing i'd probably say all in all you probably should be running either a you know um scout rifle or a shotgun this season just because this setup is able to handle you know unstoppables and overloads really well uh, but it has a hard time with barriers just because there's nothing in the build intrinsically for barriers so again something like an iq of shotgun would be really beneficial to you now when it comes to the mods and everything we're we'll using for this setup first up on our helmet i'm running a stasis siphon just because of the fact that i am running that twilight arsenal uh, i'm not going to be able to get any you know harmonic mods on for my stasis weapon so run this instead so that i'm able to constantly get those orbs of power and then i'm also getting a special and heavy ammo finder just so i'm able to passively get that great ammo on our gloves i'm running a stasis loader so that i'm able to get that faster reload on my stasis weapons and impact induction so causing damage with my powered melee then give me grenade cooldown and then that momentum transfer for that opposite effect uh, causing damage with my grenade gets me melee cooldown chest piece i'm running a charge dub just grab an extra uh slot of armor charge this can actually be taken out for you know a different resistance mod depending on what you're needing and then the other two again are just like basic resistance mods on my legs i'm running an invigoration so that i'm grabbing some extra melee cooldown never pick up an overpower since frenzy blade does have a higher cooldown this is definitely beneficial to have on a recuperation so i gain some health every time i grab that overpower uh, so i'm able to stack that on top of that overshield i'm already getting and then also a stasis weapon surge uh, since i'm mainly using that stasis grenade launcher and a stasis rocket launcher uh, this is just going to be really nice for us and finally on our titan mark we're going to be running a bomber just so i'm able to get a little bit more out of my grenade um a bit more often a powerful attraction so that i'm able to pull all those, all those orbs of power whenever I activate my barricade and then finally a distribution just so I get a little bit of energy across the board uh this one can be changed out for like a finisher mod if you're wanting to I probably say like something like um your one two finisher probably a really great one so you're able to get more consecration slams uh but that's completely up to you now when it comes to the artifact and everything we're going to be needing here uh we're mainly going to be starting on that second column uh, we're going to start off with one with frost while we have frost armor our stasis weapon gain that increased reload speed uh, and stability i'm going to be running just a fell the revenant just kind of like a fill-in spot just to get us down the you know artifact uh, and getting that extra damage against scorn targets and then rapid impact so dealing damage with my grenade launcher temporarily increases its reload speed uh, for all those grenade launchers windshield rapid stasis weapon precision hits grant me frost armor obviously really huge arm of aramis so that whenever i'm in that you know uh, critical state. I'm going to make that freezing burst around me really nice for just like stopping targets. 
and then hail the storm is obviously an absolute must uh, so that whenever i shatter stasis crystal is going to create that slowing burst around them and finally concussive reload using a grenade launcher to damage a boss uh damage a champion or break a combatant shield weakens them obviously huge for you know constantly getting that passive weaken and then finally in the last column brain free so that frozen targets create that slow field around them really really nice to have especially against overloads and then finally conduct a cosmic crystal so that my you know void abilities mainly that twilight arsenal is going to do more damage uh to targets with a stasis debuff we have a lot of access to that through all of our stasis crystals or even just using our uh, diamond lance now i always like to talk about how this is going to be nice against different champions uh for barrier not a whole lot in this setup that's going to be really solid for that so i definitely recommend just using a shotgun or a uh, scout rifle in your second slot unstoppable obviously you can always just match a weapon with that or you can just like take advantage of the ignitions from your consecration or shatter from either diamond lance or your stasis crystal grenade and then finally for overload obviously grenade launcher this season is good against those so you can just use that uh, you can also use the slow effects from frozen targets uh that that feel that's made from wind chill uh, to do that and there you have it that's the setup it's really fun i really do enjoy it. it's a lot different for titan uh but it's just a whole lot of fun so definitely recommend giving this a shot but again make sure you follow me over on youtube and twitter at birdman778 let me know something you're interested in seeing down below whether it's titan hunter or warlock subscribe and become a member guys thank you so much i hope we have a great night day whatever it may be